Hello, it's been a few years since I posted my last uh, free energy video on YouTube um, or device that is a device that's making an attempt to actually produce more energy out than it is consuming on its input. But I have a few results uh, that uh, this time I'd like to share with the uh, alternative energy community. Um, this is a replica of the Dini motor or John Adams motor. I believe it could be a bit of a hybrid, but I believe they do both utilize the same laws of physics, or may, as we should say, defy the same laws of physics. Um, I was quite astounded when I stumbled across what appears to be the technique here that, um, is able, that enables us to get some form of unity. At the moment, this, unit, this device is consuming 75 milliamps on its drive coils and producing. 80 milliamps on its generating coils. That gives us a 10 milliamp um, excess. Uh, I will connect up uh, another load. And over here you can see the meter rise sharply. And the meter over here is the meter that indicates current consumed by the drive stage. Disconnecting again the load and reconnecting the load. I hope these meters would be a little clearer to see in the video, um, but unfortunately they're not. I may actually make another video at some point and incorporate a digital RMS meter. There we have it. Um, yes, I believe this to be over Unity. Um, I guess you only have my word for it. I will present. I will try to present some schematics and lay out of the wiring to make these results a bit more conclusive. But I'm quite uh, excited after many years of um, making magnetic motors and rotating discs and rotating platters and trying many things to actually see a motor drive a higher current load than it is than the current consumes on its input. Um, the efficiency of this motor is outstanding actually uh, and it all has uh, to do with the precise alignment um, of the drive pulse. Uh, aligning the drive pulse uh, with the magnetic field and the drive coils. If I was to change the pulse uh, width or change the pulse timing, the current would escalate and it would, um, when you try to draw more current from the machine, it would just simply stop turning as uh, previous experiments have proven. 